It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Jaden Smith took to Instagram to share a series of images of him inside of Diddy's tunnels. Underneath Diddy's mansion in Los Angeles and Miami, there are secret tunnels. Originally, it was built as sort of like an underground swimming pool, but Diddy drained it and began to create a network of pathways that connect to nearby points of interest. In the world of fame, not everything is as glorious as it seems. Behind the flashing lights and chart-topping hits, there are stories of betrayal, heartbreak, and manipulation. With the recent shocking arrest of Diddy, more voices are coming forward with their untold truths. Jaden Smith, known for his creativity and deep thoughts, is now revealing how his relationship with Diddy changed his life forever. And he's not the only one. Justin Bieber, once a teen sensation, was caught in the same whirlwind. But behind these smiles were hidden struggles, and today, Jaden is ready to speak out on how Diddy's influence impacted both him and Justin in ways the public never knew. Stay tuned as we dive into this explosive revelation. This is a story you won't want to miss. The Woody Show, and during the interview, Papa Smith planted a wet one right on Jaden's lips. They were in heavy into the drugs. They was heavy into beating women and doing things at that age, at, at that crazy stage. That's gonna make him think that he could get away with the same thing that they was getting away with back then. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. We're going crazy. I'm good, how are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. In recent interviews, Jaguar Wright has accused Will of taking advantage of vulnerable people in the industry, turning what seemed like mentorship into something much darker. Would you tell Kyle? No. You have to get these margaritas out of here. Why aren't you drinking? Yeah, but last night. Names like Meek Mill and Bryshear Gray have come up in these troubling stories, with only August Alsina staying connected to Will, possibly out of need more than comfort. These revelations are starting to peel back the layers, exposing uncomfortable truths about fame, power, and integrity. Meek Mills? <laughs> Bashir Gray? Left that house screaming. August the only one that stayed, and I guess he was really sick. He needed a dog. Amen. And that was their kid's friend. The layers of deception and exploitation seem to go even deeper, revealing troubling patterns within Hollywood's elite. What was once seen as Will Smith's helpful mentorship is now being called out for allegedly enabling maltreatment. Meek Mill and Bryshear Gray were drawn into the circle, but instead of opportunities, they found themselves trapped in a harmful situation. Bryshear, who looked up to Will for his success in both acting and music, soon found his life spiraling out of control. He was introduced to Diddy with promises of musical growth, but instead he became a victim in a manipulative and degrading environment. His public breakdown leading to his arrest was a reflection of the personal struggles he faced. But the story doesn't stop with the mentorship. Cassie's lawsuit reveals even darker sides to this world, like Diddy's secretive freak-off parties where all sense of boundaries was lost and chaos took over. In this hidden part of celebrity life, the cost of chasing fame often ends in lost innocence and broken lives. It has also been said that Meek Mill, August Alsina, Bry Sheer Gray, and other unnamed celebrities regularly joined Will and Jada in these events. <laughs> he ain't never gonna be Tupac and she proved it when she August Alsina. They're both bisexual, they do weird things in their house, and young men have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. Back in 2013, rumors started circulating that federal authorities were investigating Diddy for behaving inappropriate and having inappropriate relationships with young boys. Even before the recent scandals broke, it seemed the feds were aware of troubling behaviors from Diddy in Hollywood. James Roseman, a former music manager turned illegal substance kingpin, has reportedly questioned by federal agents about the intimate preferences of musicians, specifically whether Diddy had been involved with underage boys. 
A U.S. District Court document later showed that a prosecutor looked into the personal relationship of entertainers, including Diddy's connection with minors. What shocking is Jada's decision to send her son to Diddy, despite knowing what he was involved in? Recently, Jaden Smith sparked controversy and conversations online when he talked about his childhood and mentioned that his mom sent him to Puffy Flavor Camp after his success in The Karate Kid. Jaden shared that he always knew Diddy as a friend of his father's. When he decided to focus on music, his mom told him he would be staying with Diddy for a while. Jaden didn't mind this because he considered Diddy a part of the family. At first, he thought being around Diddy was a good experience, but things changed when Diddy began to take advantage of him. Jaden mentioned that when Justin Bieber and Usher were around, he got involved in some strange activities. At first, he felt nervous, but he eventually calmed down. He also revealed that his mom sent him to stay with Diddy for a special event. Jaden claimed that when it came time for his mom to make a sacrifice, she chose Will because both Will and Jada were part of some sort of group with Diddy and other famous people in the industry. After spending time with Diddy, Jaden's personality changed a lot. Some family-friendly sources have even said that Jaden identifies as bisexual. And even though he's dating social media influencer Sam Zeta, he still spends time with other guys. When they was busy partying with the Martins, then they switched over from the Martins to uh, uh, Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and then f***ing Kiss happened to a Hawthorne, her show got canceled, Mark and Jennifer broke up, all of this shit was going on, like all of these motherfuckers be doing all of this wild shit. Jaden Smith's recent comments have stirred up a huge wave of reactions, with fans around the world feeling shocked and angry. Many people can't believe how much influence Jada seems to have over her son, raising concerns about manipulation and control. The idea that a father could betray his own child for personal gain brings about strong feelings of sadness and disgust. Some critics are asking Jaden to share more details about what happened and who else was involved. The suggestions that other famous people, like Justin Bieber, might be connected only adds to the confusion of the situation. Bieber uh, was grinded on from behind, outside of a kiss. And it did none of that. <laughs> Do you You're asking like me about secret reality. As people demand more answers, there are still questions about how involved Jada really is. Some people think there might be more to this story that hasn't been revealed yet. While everyone tries to understand the troubling implications of these claims, the search for the truth continues, making many wonder just how dark the world of family and fame can really be. Doing things to boys and did stuff to your son and you ain't shit about it. Bilal told me everything. In addition to Jaden Smith's comments, Jaguar Wright's recent interviews with Storm Monroe has shocked the entertainment industry. She revealed some troubling claims about Justin Bieber and how he may have been taken advantage of. Wright suggested that Diddy not only used Bieber for his own gain, but also allowed others to exploit him, which has raised a lot of concerns. After the police raided Diddy's home last March, unsettling videos of Bieber started spreading online, leading people to rethink Diddy's relationship with him. Wright also pointed out that Diddy might have acted similarly with other young male artists, like Meek Mill. Even though Mill was denied these claims on social media, many are still unsure, leaving people to wonder just how far Diddy's actions go and who else might have been affected. When Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy came to light last year, it opened the door to a lot of troubling revelations about him, including connections to Justin Bieber. At first, many people thought Bieber's claims about his experience with Diddy were exaggerated, but new information has made people take those concerns more seriously. Jaguar Wright's interview with Storm Monroe highlighted this issue, especially when she mentioned disturbing videos featuring Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey Songs. Footage of Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey Songs. Yes. Like, and, and Trey's like literally sitting there playing Lookout. 
playing lookout as Justin Bieber goes down on while some suggested that substance use might explain what happened, Wright hinted at a darker story involving coercion and exploitation. This raises serious questions about how young talents are treated in the industry and the actions of these powerful figures. As Justin Bieber goes down on Odell. The boy came up with his mouth wet. Mouth wet. What? Dribbling. Now, what they're going to try to say is, no, nah, Justin Bieber was just doing a line of coke. No, he didn't mess with his nose when he, he came up. He was doing a line of coke with his mouth. He wiped his mouth. Jaguar Wright's revelations create a troubling picture of what Justin Bieber may have gone through, hinting at manipulation and pressure from powerful people like Diddy and Trey Songs. Wright claims that songs acted as a lookout, suggesting that they were trying to hide possibly illegal activities from the public. She also highlights how Justin Bieber's journey began with Diddy, pointing out how unhealthy their relationship might have been. The controversial footage of Diddy promising Bieber lavish gifts during their 48 hours together now feels uncomfortable, especially with everything we've learned about Diddy since then. The fact that Diddy actually gave Bieber a Lamborghini right after he got his driver's license only adds to this unsettling story, suggesting a pattern of exploitation disguised as mentorship. Justin Bieber's YouTube channel. He was 15 at the time, and he was staying with Combs for 48 hours. You know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. The way Diddy gave Justin Bieber a Lamborghini raises important questions about their relationship. Many are speculating that Diddy's intentions might not be good, pointing to troubling patterns of exploitation similar to those seen in Cassie's lawsuits and claims from others like Lil Rod. Since Bieber was so young when he got involved with Diddy, it adds to the concern, showing how his innocent beginnings contrast sharply with his later changes. Recently, footage has shown Bieber looking uneasy around Diddy, which has made his friends worried about how Diddy might be affecting him. The situation highlights the need to pay attention to warning signs and take steps to protect vulnerable people in the entertainment industry. So, as soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come to LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, come get the front shot. Man. Man, Minute. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know. You know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're gonna leave. Right. Gotta right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. <laughs> Okay, this is sounding kind of dangerous now. <laughs> it's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. broccoli, but just... Right. When Diddy and Bieber met again, you could feel the tension between them. They both seemed uncomfortable and unsure of each other. Their body language, like the way they patted each other and whispered, suggested that there were trust issues. This moment gives us a glimpse into the larger story of Bieber's time with Diddy and what it might mean. Good, how are you? All right, doing? young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People are questioning if Bieber has been acting out, drinking, or using substance because of his experience with Diddy. It really makes you think about how much power celebrities hold in the entertainment world. Bieber's journey highlights a big gap between his glamorous public persona and the personal struggles he later shared. It's a reminder that fame isn't as always as great as it looks. While Diddy might not be the only one responsible for Bieber's challenges, his involvement points to a larger problem. It shows how young artists like Bieber can easily be exploited and pressured in the entertainment industry, especially when they're just beginning their careers. Bieber's story is a tough reminder of how vulnerable young artists can be in an industry where success often comes with a high cost. The pressures of being famous and the dangers that come with it highlight the need for better awareness and protection for young talent trying to navigate the tricky entertainment world. Additionally, the attention Bieber received wasn't just about his time with Diddy. It involved many people in the industry, including other artists and interviewers. 
Even someone like Ellen DeGeneres, who is usually known for being friendly and funny, ended up contributing to the pressure on Bieber when she showed a paparazzi photo of him on her show and asked him difficult questions. It revealed how common it is for the media to objectify young celebrities and turn their personal lives into entertainment for the public. After that was shot, did you realize that that happened? Did that go on wire right away? Uh, yeah, it was pretty much like a couple days. It was like a couple days later, Scooter hit me. He was like, yo, I hate to tell you this, but... When Justin was 16 years old, James Corden interviewed him for the 2011 Brit Awards, and he was acting rather strangely around him. 16, like I was, that was bad. Yeah. Wow, look at your eyes. Um Just one year later, Justin and Jenny McCarthy attended the 2012 Academy Awards. And just take a look at what she was up to. Remember, Jenny was 40 years old, and Justin was only 18. So he essentially had to pull her off himself. When he began to deliver his acceptance speech, he was so uncomfortable that he said, Wow, I feel so violated right now. Jenny McCarthy violating Justin Bieber. In another video, Justin, who was 15 years old, was being questioned about the talk by an interviewer. He even had to confront them, asking why they were questioning a stranger who is 15 years old. And here's Katy Perry expressing her genuine admiration for Justin. Justin has been through a lot in the music industry. It's impressive that he managed to get through those tough times. It's hard to believe that Usher and Diddy, who should have been there to support him, ended up doing the exact opposite during all this. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. People. A lot of these people were also aspiring young artists in the music industry. And then these parties were sponsored by Motown Records CEO, Universal Records CEO. This goes all the way to the top. Usher, along with Scooter Braun, came into Justin's life right after he moved to Atlanta at the age of 13. For Justin's mom, Petty Mallet, their arrival felt like a blessing, as she hoped they would provide a positive influence for her son in the music industry. But as time went on, it became clear that Usher and Braun were not the role models she had wished for. Usher took on the role of mentor to Justin, bringing in his friend Ryan Good as Justin's swagger coach and road manager. Patty believes that this was when she started to lose control over her son's life. Coming from a modest background, Justin quickly rose to global fame and wealth at a young age. Patty, his mom, watched his rapid success with worry, knowing he needed someone to keep him grounded in the chaos of fame. However, she struggled to provide the support he needed, especially during his tours where she couldn't reach him. This situation highlights the tricky dynamics in the entertainment industry, where mentors like Usher can greatly influence a young star's life. Even well-meaning parents like Patty can feel overwhelmed by the challenges posed by industry insiders, who often take advantage of young talent. Usher has shared stories about living with Diddy during Puffy Flavor Camp, which suggests he may have been exposed to some troubling aspects of that lifestyle. Gene Deal's claims about Usher's experiences hint at a level of exploitation and manipulation that goes much deeper than what we usually hear. Deal even suggested that Usher might have faced similar struggles with Cassie, which could have led him to being hospitalized. When they get down to all the facts and all what happened, he may belong in jail, bro. And that's not my doing. That's not Cassie doing. That's his doing and his learned behavior from the people that mentored him. Additionally, Deal talked about a group that Diddy allegedly leads, which includes Usher and Justin as recruits. This paints a disturbing picture of what might be happening behind the scenes. The details shared by Deal create a sense of worry and raise important questions about how much influence Diddy has and the potential risks young talent like Usher and Justin face while under his guidance. Gene pointed out that Usher might have had a trauma bond with Diddy because of their shared experiences, which helps explain why Usher is so cautious when talking to Diddy in public. In interviews, like his appearance on Howard Stern's show, Usher chooses his words carefully, suggesting he's not comfortable sharing certain details. 
While Usher hasn't directly addressed any rumors about his relationship with Diddy, court documents from the Little Rod lawsuit mention his name. The lawsuit claims that Mr. Combs told Mr. Jones about having intimate relations with a rapper, an R&B singer, and someone named Stevie J. Although the names of the rapper and the R&B singer were kept private, hints in the footnotes led fans to believe that Meek Mill and Usher might have been the ones evolved, especially since one is linked to Nicki Minaj and the other has a successful show in Las Vegas. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's going to in the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? These new revelations not only spark curiosity about Usher's past, but also highlight bigger issues in the entertainment industry, like the potential exploitation young artists such as Usher and Justin Bieber might face under the guidance of powerful figures like Diddy. Besides Usher's stories and his tough experiences at Flavor Camp, there's a tough revealing comment from Diddy that sheds light on their relationship. Diddy once joked about sharing a bed with Usher when he was a kid, trying to make it sound innocent by saying it was just about frosted flakes, but many listeners found it hard to believe. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes. Usher's tendency to brush off or defend Diddy's actions might be linked to emotional effects of his past experiences, which is something many people understand. Usher's experience isn't isolated, as shown by Meek Mill's recent reactions online to claims that he was Diddy's boy toy, mentioned in the Little Rod lawsuit. Jaguar Wright also discussed Diddy's behavior in her recent interview with Storm Monroe, pointing to a pattern of exploitation. Her comments about Meek Mill being a power bottom adds more depth to the conversation about Diddy's influence on male artists in the industry. Power bottoming. I knew Meek was power bottoming. Wow. Well, he already done got the broke in. Jaguar Wright's recent remarks about Meek Mill possibly being exploited in the industry aren't just random comments. In past interviews with Real Life Production, she suggested that Meek might have been used by the Smiths during a mentorship period. There have been rumors of odd happenings in the Smith household and Meek's sudden exit, along with August Alsina's reported health issues, raises questions about their interactions. The link between Meek Mill and Diddy has also come under the spotlight, especially with the recent lawsuits against Diddy. Diddy calling Meek Daddy and his strong reactions to Meek performances in clubs only adds more mystery to their connection. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. The impact of these relationships goes beyond just rumors. It brings up serious concerns about the well-being and independence of artists trying to make it in a tough environment. Looking at Justin Bieber's past with Diddy and their recent collaboration makes us wonder about their relationship. Is it just a business deal or is there something deeper from their shared experiences in the industry? Their dynamic raises questions and prompts us to think about the complicated nature of celebrity relationships and how figures like Diddy can have a lasting impact. Another unsettling detail adds to the discomfort. A video going around that shows Justin at a party with Diddy and the game where he appears to be offered drinks. We don't know what's in those drinks, but some people are speculating that it might have been spiked. This concern grows from allegations that Justin was passed around by Diddy and his friends at these types of parties. The idea of what Justin might have gone through at that party is really troubling, reminding us of similar worries about other artists like Usher. Information to you? Naturally, that's a joke. Don't come for me, because you know I'll come back. But either way, drop what you think your answer to that little riddle may be down in the comment section, our own comment section, of course, below. Even with all the unsettling events, Justin has stayed quiet about his time with Diddy. Still, he has shared bits of his challenging journey in a documentary that really connects with viewers and brings out their empathy. Reports indicate that he might be open to talking about his relationship with Diddy, especially if it helps with ongoing investigations. While Justin seemed to want to keep his connection with Diddy private, there's a growing call for people asking for Diddy to be held accountable for his alleged actions. Jaguar Wright, who has been openly critical of Diddy for a long time, and now more people are supporting Justin and other possible victims. Online conversations show a mix of worry for Justin's well-being and encouragement for him to take a stand against Diddy, reflecting the support and empowerment fans are expressing. As the investigation continues and attention is focused on this issue, the pressure for Justin to speak out about his past increases. The future is still unclear, but the support from others gives a little hope in the face of this uncertainty. But what's your take on what's really going down? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.